Hi, I'm Nick, and this is a show about art. This show is all about your art and your creations. Every episode is different, but every episode will challenge you to try new things, learn new stuff, and become a better creator. Oh, and let's inspire and encourage each other through it all. Let's get into it. Hey Artistic Badasses, welcome to a show about art episode number five. Last week I double dared you to create a street art inspired artwork. From all around the globe, you guys handed out some artistic street justice with your awesome creations. Let's take a look at look. Tanage 102 created a very 80s vibe boombox design on a wall. LaRoche Digital Arts morphed a street art image into a crazy and awesome pattern design which she then turned into phone cases on Redbubble. Paddy Hosey Blue 21's artwork proved there's a whole galaxy within street art. Billy Art created this awesome galaxy eye on a brick wall. And from last week's challenge, Bully Boost's 10 minute time trial resulted in this cute cactus which was then turned into a digital print and then uploaded to Redbubble. Lastly, here's Mouth's creature drawn with 4 minutes to spare. That's awesome. Picked at random, Tanage102 will take home the artistic badass sticker. Awesome work for everyone who dared to create a street art inspired artwork. And with one challenge down, we better get to creating a new one for this week. For inspiration, we better consult with the segment machine. In this episode, we'll be celebrating the work of extremely talented American-born artist, Nikki Way. I've had the privilege and opportunity to ask Nikki a few questions about how she got started in her art, what she's currently working on, and what her plans are for the future. Here is what I learned. Nikki's work is a little sweet and a little street. She uses super saturated colors which pop straight from the sketchbook and into your eyeballs. Nikki started drawing from the first time she ever held a pencil. Throughout her artistic journey, she has always been perfecting or experimenting with an aspect of art. A trademark of Nikki's art style are the slightly skewed and warped proportions of her cartoony characters and animals. After a difficult childhood which led to depression and psychosis, Nikki grew up viewing the world through frequent hallucinations. After embarking on treatments and rehabilitations, her art became a vessel of recovery. Her art could describe her world and her experiences in a way words never could. More importantly, it let other people who shared her struggles know that they aren't alone and being a little crazy is actually pretty rad. Nikki is now a passionate advocate for the healing powers found within artistic expression and has made it her mission to help guide people to this realization. If you are sick of the reality you live in, paint your own. At the moment, Nikki is an artist in residence at Redbubble and is using her time to create an illustrated guide to social media marketing for artists. With such a huge following on Instagram, Nikki's advice would be invaluable for any artist who wants to share their art with more of the world. In the future, Nikki wants to be more active in painting murals as she has been told many times her work is street art which just hasn't found its way to the street yet. Nikki would also love to create an illustrated children's book about mental health an idea which would be super useful and relevant in today's world. To follow Nikki and her amazing artworks and be the first to be notified about her social media marketing guide, there's a link to her Instagram in the description below as well as her Redbubble store where you can use the code word STREETSUITE for a 15% discount off any of her amazing products on her store. And a huge thank you goes out to Nikki for being on the show. I hope you enjoyed and felt inspired by learning more about Nikki's artist journey. But now it's time for an artist challenge. Artist challenge. Participate in this challenge with the hashtag a show about art on Instagram and Redbubble. Participants will be featured on the next episode. Your challenge for this week is to create a crazy creature inspired by Nikki's art style. This week, you guys are actually blessed to death because Nikki has actually written a tutorial on Redbubble blog on how to do this very thing. So head over there for some tips and advice if you need some extra help. For my artwork, I was planning on following Nikki's tutorial to the T. But when I was sketching out some ideas, some art inspiration just hit me across the face. For this, this is a little bit weird, but I tried to make a octopus and a hyena like fused together to make one thing. But I couldn't really get the shape of the hyena's face like right, it kept on looking a little bit weird. It has like this really weird arch back. So 
I tried, I tried really hard on it, but then I just thought, oh, well, I'd just make it an octopus with a weird horse kind of body. And after showing a few people like the design of it, they didn't even see the horse shape, so it just became an octopus. So maybe I kind of failed at this, uh, <laughs> this experiment. Um, but yeah, I, I still think it looks like a weird octopus, right? Um, yeah, well here I'm just like fixing up some of the line work that I quickly did uh, with the Sharpie pen and I'm scanning it now and putting it into Photoshop nonetheless. I'm gonna scan it and just like take out all the white space because we don't want that. We want it as like a nice transparent picture so when I upload it to Redbubble it will look even better instead of being like this like square, square like artwork thing. Yeah, it, yeah, it just looks bad. So now I'm deleting all the color in it so I can turn it into a PNG file and this was very tedious as you can see here. Whoa, whoa, wait, stop the music. I have to show you guys something new I learned. Instead of getting rid of all this pixel mess with the wand or eraser tool, there's an easier and faster way of doing it. I have no idea how it works, but it works. Click on your layer and select the blending options mode. There's a toggle bar here and you simply just adjust it down to take the pixel mess out. Adjust it too much and the black lines will also disappear though. I don't really know how this works. I assume it makes a legion of Photoshop monkeys do the work for you. Uh, but the less I know about it, the, the less my conscience thinks about the ethical implications of that. So now that the Photoshop monkeys have or have not done their job, um, whether it's ethical or not, or makes me question a lot of things about life, uh, I put it into Illustrator and image traced it and the line work was absolutely beautiful. I love you Illustrator, you do a really really good job. Um, of course, if you're following along with this kind of thing, uh, you can use free programs like Inkscape which do the same thing. And I'm deleting all the random remnants of my line work. I don't like it and it's a really frustrating job to do every time you do an artwork, but it has to be done because it looks better. And here I'm doing the same thing in the inside of the line work with the healing brush tool. I love that brush tool. It's really good. I got a random like red spot on, on my artwork somehow. I have no idea who put that there. I, if I find that person, I'm not happy. I uploaded to Redbubble with the hashtag a show about art and it looks awesome on these products. I can't wait to see what art creations you come up with next week. Remember, it doesn't matter what your artistic skill level is or the materials you use. Anyone can get featured and anyone can win a prize. Just use the hashtag a show about art on Instagram and Redbubble so I can see it. And that's it for this week. Thanks for drawing with me, and goodbye for now. But not forever. Check this out. This about dreams. Patterns I carved out. Materials given. I could have written my heart out. And God is dark now. I guess I gotta illuminate. So many people dying already can. Seeing that tuna fake. To be frank, some duke it out. World's a kumite. Assuming they ain't trained for this. Nah, corrupt data on the blank is this. Not what you think this is. I'm what you can't dismiss. Kiss the sky when I wake. Cause it could have been my way.